going to the moon. ASU researchers have high hopes. The university is working with Lunar Outpost of Colorado, a space robotics company that has made it to the final round of competing for a moon rover contract. It's a waiting game right now. Jim Rice has dreamed of this since he was a kid watching Apollo 11 make history. But it's exciting to evolve this deep into the process. And, um, you know, I'm hoping obviously we get selected and then be able to work on a rover on, with astronauts on the moon. The research scientist says ASU leads the Science Council for the LTV or Lunar Terrain Vehicle that could be chosen for the Artemis 3 mission to land on the lunar South Pole region. Most of the time it will be without crew and it can do a lot of things. Uh, it can scout out landing sites for future crews, identify key science targets for those crews to go pick up and get specific samples once they and won't have to spend the time finding them. You know, and just do a lot of exploration and discovery. It's more than an off-road vehicle. It's off-planet with out-of-this-world capabilities. We have orbital images, but when you have down the ground, you have much higher resolution pictures, obviously. So we can actually scout around the area for hazards for the crew, which is a big, you know, you know for safety crews, a number one issue, but also looking for key science um, targets. That's one small step for man. And he says it's another step in maintaining U.S. dominance in space. The moon is the next territory out, and it's uh, very important for this country to be in the forefront because it has strategic implications about national security. Uh, it also kind of representation of soft power, showing that we can do these things. We're still technologically uh, adept and at the head of the curve for the rest of the world. Now, Rice says the Artemis V crew would be the first to actually drive the LTV, and NASA is aiming for uh, 2030 for that. China also said it plans to try to land on the moon by 2030.